Okay. Walking up to a house that we're gonna run through Rehab Estimator Pro. I'll try to make this quick. Definitely the uh, old wood siding. Some issues with that, but definitely could be painted. Looks like uh, most windows have been replaced. Here's the backyard, that garage is a mess. So that's just a big mess there. But as far as the uh, exterior goes, there's new aluminum soffit and fascia with gutter apron. And then I'm going to assume a new roof on it, which yes, there is. And again, you see more yeah, windows replaced. I don't like this deck at all. I was told by the cleanup guy that the door opens when you turn it to the left, so. Ooh, this reeks. Stinky urine for sure. Oh, banister is in good shape. Got lots of uh, plaster repair. Vinyl siding looks like they were putting on. Original trim on all of the Windows, doors, kitchen is disgusting. Drop ceiling that you could definitely tear out. Fix the ceilings. I'm not opening that fridge, that's for sure. Exterior door could be painted. Okay, I'm gonna quick through the basement. Obviously, we're checking boxes as we go right now. House needs pretty much everything. Oh, wow. Okay. Old furnace. Galvanized water lines. Looks like they replaced the furnace with new and attached to the existing ductwork. So there's one good thing about the house. Uh, looks like the panel has been updated as well. Have to, uh, that's a good sign. Plus it's got all conduit run. So you can run wire through if needed. I don't see any signs of a uh, wet basement. No cracks in the walls. New water heater. Or let's just call it newer at this point. Hey, look at this though. Comes with a shower downstairs. Water meter intact. Okay. There is water on uh, the paneling back here. Looks like coming in. This back wall, that's something definitely have to check out. Okay. No active water, especially with all the snow that just melted. I would assume to see signs of that, but let's get back upstairs and keep this video short. One thing that is not desirable, I do love these columns here. Look at this. Oh, gorgeous. With the mission panels. 
One thing that's discouraging right off the bat is uh, no bathroom on the main level, which with these old houses, that's normal, but not desirable. This is very similar to a house I own right down the street. So, oh, nice. That's worth a fortune right now. All the weight sets. Replacement windows there, replacement windows here. Obviously the roof was leaking. Now that's been fixed. Man, the doors look amazing up here. The old trim. So one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom. That ceiling needs to come down. And the one bath that's up here. So beautiful tile, green cultured marble top. Those are the uh, plastic tiles from many decades ago, but need a shower in there. Get that tub out, glass block in the window. So, all right. Time to quick check the boxes here on REP and send a cash offer. All right, here we go. We are going to run this property. So we have three comps that popped up right away. We're built in 1914 and 3-1. So this is actually a really good comp. Um, 22nd, this is 19th. This is less than a uh, quarter mile away. Uh, this one is not 1900 for 75,000. Um, let's see. This one is a really good comp as well. It's getting a little bit out of our radius. Has uh, the bathroom count is uh, is off, but I know that this house is basically a 150 house, so I'm going to use these two comps and put in my own ARV of 150,000. And as we walk through this property, the roof was replaced, so we're not going to do that. The garage is just a turd. It's a tear it down kind of a thing. So um, we do have to paint that exterior for sure. And most of the windows have been replaced. So we're gonna add five windows. Um, it does need gutters and downspouts. And we're gonna, um, build a new two car garage so that's going to add 15 grand right there we definitely have some landscape and two exterior doors interior we need to paint do floors it's a median kitchen uh, we're going to do a low-end appliance set and one full bathroom upstairs and millwork doors and casing is good. Same with the uh, basin shoe. We are definitely gonna have some framing and drywall repairs in there, but I'm gonna basically boost this to 500% uh, just because of all the work. And, and that's probably not fair. Uh, there's plaster, but so we're gonna add 4,000 for that. Okay, and then going into mechanicals, the furnace, as you saw, was just replaced. Water heater is good as well, but I am gonna do an inspection. It's only $180. I'm gonna debate here. We're not gonna replumb the whole house, okay? But with this uh, plumbing fixture shut off repairs, we're gonna have that number in there. I'm also gonna do the fixtures, switches, and receptacles. Um, we do not, at this point, I'm gonna have my electrician look at that panel, but I'm not gonna put in for a new panel. We're gonna have one unit of demolition still and a dumpster 
and then we're going to have to do some, uh, I'm going to add 2200 for the foundation because I saw some spots in there that I got to have some kind of number for. It's not a full, you know, 10,000, but I'm going to do a final clean. So I'm up to $68,000 for the uh, repair value, which, you know, this house definitely needs it. So um, at ARV of 150, uh, our cash offer is $36,547. Uh, I know they have this listed right now for 99,000, which is not going to happen. Uh, and this is why they haven't been able to sell it. Um, it was bought recently in 2015 for 20,000. So I don't know what they got it for recently, but I'm assuming it's around my number and now they're trying to inflate it. So I'm basically just going to pull this up and, uh, Send the offer details, repair estimate, and the purchase contract. And then write uh, your cash offer. Um, and then I'll put in here as well, offer property at 6626 to Eric. And we'll put an email. We may have to get rid of that for the, uh, for the recording here, but uh, Please review the scope of work and cash offer and give me a call. Okay, and we're just gonna send that mail. I'm actually gonna do a um, comma separator, and send it to myself as well. So that's another, and then we're just gonna send this mail instead of generating a PDF and looking at that this time. So that is it. Six minutes later, guys. So I walked through the house in less than 15 minutes and I uh, wanted to come back and show you REP versus walking through with the iPad to keep these videos short. But uh, that's how quick I wouldn't pay more than my guess in that house was maximum 30 to 40,000, uh, especially with the repairs. So REP hit it right on the head. I'm really confident with those numbers. That repair value did climb really fast, but that house is definitely uh especially also with the uh with the smell in there um my painter is definitely gonna have a heyday we're gonna have to seal everything so there it is guys 